Hello everyone and welcome to another Computer Software Is Your Friend tutorial. Today I will show you how to install Windows 8 Release Preview on an Aspire 1 netbook. Now let's just start off by saying that um, downloading the file and double clicking it is not going to be the best idea. And I'll show you why. When you download the uh, the installer package and run it for the first time from within Consumer Preview, you are going to be told that your netbook doesn't meet the system requirements of Windows 8. And specifically, it says the CPU is incompatible with Windows 8. Well, today I will show you how to get around that. First, you're going to need another computer. Right over here. You're going to need to download that file again, let it download its contents, and it's going to put an install Windows 8 shortcut onto your desktop. And ultimately, you're going to run it, and you're going to see three options install now, install by creating media, or install later. Ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to use the creating media option, which is the second one. Choose the first option, which is a USB drive. Insert a USB drive. Click it. It will it'll prompt you to format. You click OK, and it will create the USB drive. I've already done this, and the steps from this point on are straightforward and automated. So here's the USB that I created earlier. Let's now go to the netbook with our USB. Now, theoretically what would happen is that the CPU is not supported. So, theoretically the install shouldn't work. Well, Let's reboot and start a clean install. And let's see if we can make it to the end. So what we'll do now is we will restart this machine. Power. Restart. So we will restart this machine. And we are going to hit the F12 button as soon as we see the Acer logo. It is important that you do this because you're going to be choosing to boot off of the Windows 8 USB key that you created on the other computer. So we now hit F12 and it's booting into the boot selection and now we're just going to choose our USB. Pretty straightforward actually. It even tells you it's a USB and you're going to be booting for the first time into Windows 8 Release Preview. And uh, you know it's different because you don't see the fish. The fish is uh, exclusively for beta versions. So yeah, Consumer Preview was not a release candidate. It was the equivalent of a beta. So therefore the Developer Preview was the equivalent of an alpha. Um, I don't know why they changed the terminology. It used to always come down by beta and release candidate. But I guess Microsoft really wanted to market this one. <laughs> Alright, so the installation process is straightforward. Okay, It's going to be the same as any regular Windows 8 install that you've done in the past. And it should also be similar to any Windows installation you've done in the past. So now the setup is starting. One thing that you might want to note is that you're going to need to have the product key off on hand. So uh, that comes free with your download so don't worry about that. Have that ready on your other computer or on paper. 
and be ready to insert it right away, right off the bat. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to waste any time. And I'll come right back. And we're back. I've got my key inserted. We're just going to click next. And we're just going to go into your general Windows 8 installation on this uh, Aspire 1 netbook. Very straightforward. Just a tad slow at this moment. <laughs> um, I don't know why Microsoft would make it so hard to upgrade, but um, it doesn't do that on a computer with a dual core processor. So you have two options. You can read this and then support it, uh, accept it, or you can just accept it and move on. <laughs> Alright, so now here's where the fun begins. You have two options. Upgrade, install, and keep settings. Well, we're already in the boot, so I mean, why upgrade when you can just do a clean install, which is faster, and, well, it's a clean install, which means that it's going to be installing it as if this thing just came out of the box. So we're going to choose custom, which is install Windows only, and it's labeled advanced. And now uh, the installation includes some explanation for those of you who want to read it. For a guy like me, I just want to get this done. And um, ultimately the first partition here is uh, your backup service, your OEM partition, and then the second one here is your Windows partition, and then the rest are, well, if you've watched my other videos, you would know that this is Mac OS X, and these two are dedicated for Ubuntu Linux. One is the swap. Um, so we're going to choose this one. We're going to go to Drive Options, Advanced, and we're going to choose Format. And of course you click OK. You don't need to worry about the boot uh, loaders on the other partitions because um, you can always go into a, an external bootloader, which you should have made. That's of course if you're crazy like me and decide to triple boot a <laughs> laptop. <laughs> um, so here is our Windows 8 release preview partition, which is ready to go. We're going to click Next. And now, the fun begins. It is installing. Which, it shouldn't be doing. So from this point on, everything is straightforward. You won't have to really uh, get a lot of guidance for the rest. Um, this will just automate, ask you a few questions. If you enter your email, it will cut the amount of questions it will ask you in half. <laughs> guaranteed. And uh, have fun with Windows 8 on your Aspire 1. This is the way to not get that nice uh, CPU is not supported. And I mean, it would be a shame if Microsoft went that route because they would be isolating the entire netbook um, community, which would drive everyone to either Hackintosh or Linux. <laughs> Alright, so, well, this has been another Computer Software Is Your Friend video. If you want me to go over the entire Windows A install process, leave a comment below. I don't mind. Um, I'll film the extras if you want me to. And uh, if you like our videos, let us know, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned. If ever you have something that you want me to give you a tutorial on, leave us a comment on our various social media um, networks and I will try my best to help you out. Um, so leaving this installation process go on its own, this has been another computer software is your friend tutorial. Thank you very much.